Hi everyone, this is Arun Ramendran. Today I am very happy to share that the second edition of my book Django Design Patterns and Practices has been published. Thanks to so many of you for providing the new topics and areas which I needed to cover in this book. I have tried my best to incorporate all your feedback and all the areas in which you wanted to cover. In this book, I try to share my experiences while building large uh, and complex Django applications. In this book, you'll start by understanding how you can build a Django application from end to end. So, we'll start with the requirements of a sample project that we use, which is a fun project, uh, which is basically building a social network for superheroes. Uh, and in that, we try to start with the basics. We start with the requirements, then we build a mock-up, then uh, we try to start with the high-level architecture, um, and we start with some of the uh, basic topics like models or views or templates, but we incorporate a lot of uh, pattern knowledge into that, a lot of architecture knowledge into that, uh, which uh, a lot of senior and experienced Django developers know already or you can learn from uh, a multiples of sources but I have tried to combine them and bring them together in uh, one single place. So uh, from there we move on to uh, how we can uh, address various uh, new challenges like building an API. Uh, for example, we talk about the REST API concepts, what are the best practices when you build a REST API what do you need to watch out for? Uh, and we talk about other new topics like uh, asynchronous programming. Uh, for instance, using Celery. Uh, you can also use Django Channels. We try to cover Django Channels too in this book. Um, at the same time, uh, we are using the latest version of uh, all the software, uh, including Django 2.0 and uh, uh, Python 3.6. Uh, we have tried to cover uh, all the latest uh, 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 technologies uh, at this point in time, at the time of writing the book. Uh, from there on, uh, we move on to uh, some advanced topics, uh, which are books in themselves, uh, like uh, debugging, uh, uh, monitoring, logging, uh, production-related concerns, uh, how we can migrate from a legacy application, which could be a Django, uh, earlier version of Django. Uh, we also talk about... Uh, how you can deploy these applications in production, uh, be it using virtual machines or using Docker or in a cloud environment. Uh, we'll also talk about, uh, you know, what are the various differences that you need to take care of when you're migrating from Python 2 to Python 3. Uh, because as you know, uh, the future, the current and the future versions of Django will be based on Python 3 alone. And uh, we'll also, uh, you know, try to share various uh, uh, important tips and uh, 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 things, best practices as we go on. So I hope you will enjoy this book uh, as much as I did writing it. I hope you learn uh, something uh, based on my experiences uh, and uh, please do share your feedback uh, through your reviews, through your comments on Twitter uh, or Instagram or whichever social platform that you are uh, able to reach me out to. Uh, in uh, case you are uh, buying it soon, uh, we have some active promo codes uh, uh, which are uh, uh, probably expiring by the end of uh, June. Uh, but I uh, recommend you use these promo codes. Uh, you would get about 40% off uh, of the ebook edition and about 10% off of the print edition if you use these uh, uh, promo codes. So, uh, thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for buying the book. And I hope you enjoy reading this book. Thank you so much.